If you say that, hey, my heart is doing something funny, it's going too fast, too slow, it's being very irregular. I think it might be causing my symptom of weird lightheadedness, palpitations, passing out. Then the abnormal heart rhythm has to be occurring at the same time that the person has their symptom. The only symptoms that are being caused by the fast, irregular, or slow heart rhythm. It's not as if you say, hey, I had this heart rhythm problem yesterday, but today I'm having symptoms. It'd be almost as silly as saying, hey, I exercised yesterday and I got my heart rate up and I felt my heart rate going very, very fast and I felt palpitations and chest discomfort and shortness of breath. But then the next day when I'm resting and my heart rhythm is normal, well, now I'm having the symptoms. No, the symptoms have to correlate with the actual abnormality of your heart rhythm. And so when we try to diagnose heart rhythm issues, we usually try to catch it. We try to catch it on a heart rhythm monitor so that specialists like myself can read the squiggly little lines, the boop, boop on the heart rhythm monitor, like the EKG, and determine what rhythm is in control of your heart, what source of electricity is in control of your heart, and whether it's doing something abnormal to cause your symptom. So we have to actually catch it. And how do you catch it? You need to be wearing some type of heart rhythm monitor that catches your rhythm so we can see where in your heart the electricity is coming from and who's actually in control and whether it's doing something funny or not and whether it correlates with your symptoms.